Illustrate really illustrates is uh, how scorpions recovering so uh, amazingly uh, since the sheep have been removed and that's only happened since the late 80s that uh, the sheep were removed from this part of the island and the change is, is kind of dramatic and, and even getting uh, drastic. Uh, people noticed it immediately. This hillside behind us really kind of shows you how um, what was once pure grassland has uh, changed into what we call the coastal sage scrub community, which is probably what predominated here before the grazing began. That uh, includes a bunch of uh, uh, shrubs like uh, coast sagebrush, um, lemonade berry, uh, some of the buckwheats, and many others. Uh, with all the grazing that went on here, you primarily had uh, non-native European grasses. Um, now, uh, with the grazers gone, the shrubs are moving in, and as I said, that was uh, kind of evident from the moment, uh, very soon after that the animals were removed. So, even one side of this hillside kind of illustrates, kind of illustrates how uh, the shrubs are moving in. If you look at the rest of it, you'll see that it's uh, primarily grassland still. But um, look carefully, there's shrubs dotting that all over the place. And I like to tell school groups that come here that uh, they should bring their kids back in 10 or 20 years and they won't recognize the place. It's, uh, the change is dramatic and it really kind of shows you how a lot of restoration can happen in an environment simply by removing the disturbance. Uh, by getting rid of the non-native animals here, we are seeing recovery happen right in front of our eyes.